How do you prevent bottle bombs? Bottle bombs are the result of too much sugar. Too much sugar added at some point before sealing the bottle. Now, it could be too much priming sugar, the sugar used to carbonate a beer or mead or sparkling wine, or it could be too much residual sugar left over from fermentation that has continued fermenting inside the bottle. Either way, if there's sugar in the bottle and the yeast can eat it, generally they will eat it, and that will cause a pressure buildup that causes the bottle to eventually explode. One of the initial ways of preventing bottle bombs is to bottle when fermentation is done, and you measure that with a hydrometer. If the hydrometer reading is the same several days in a row throughout a week, then you know that fermentation has finished. If your brew has stopped somewhere around expected, which is generally like 1.015 for a beer, 1.000 for a meter wine, then you can consider carbonating in the bottle using priming sugar, but you'll want to use a priming sugar calculator in order to do so, so you don't add too much priming sugar to your bottles or your brew. And of course, if you have any concerns that your bottles might be overcarbonated, open them very, very cold. Put them in a fridge, get them down to 33 degrees Fahrenheit. You might still get some gushing, but not as much as if you open them at room temperature.